welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to show you my way on doing a cut crease. Of course, this is not my first video doing it, but I finally managed to find a way on doing a cut crease on my eyes where it looks snatched. I think I can say that. Um, I changed some things, I changed some methods, and that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So if you want to see how I created this very dramatic eye look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so before I am going to start with the tutorial, um, let me tell you something about the struggles I had with doing a cut crease. Um, if you look at my eye, a little bit of my skin, like up here, like right in my crease, goes over my eyelid. And what I used to do is have my cut crease like right under that skin and that's actually not a pretty look because when I open my eyes it kind of disappears and it's not as tight as I want it to be. So what I've been doing is bringing my cut crease a little bit more high and finding an area where it's like almost like very tight and there is no skin going over a better piece of skin. If that makes sense because otherwise when you open your eyes this will be not visible the cut crease will not be visible so I'm really happy that I found this method and finally I'm able to do like a decent cut crease it is not as perfect as I want it to be but I'm getting there so I'm going to show you how I do it and I'm first going to prime my eyes using the Tarte Shape Tape in medium and please don't mind the eyebrows I am growing my eyebrows so not plucking them um, and that's kind of difficult but I have to because I want to have fuller brows. Applying some translucent powder to set the concealer and then we're going to start off with eyeshadow and the first shade I am going to use is this one right here. This one is by MAC and it's called Chrome Yellow and I am taking my beloved Sigma E40 and applying this all the way into my upper crease. So this will make sure that I have a nice transition because I am going in with orange and some like darker orange, a little bit of red. So first the yellow. And to highlight the brown bone, I am taking this MAC 242 brush and the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter from Nikki Tutorials in Glow Goals. There we go. Next, we're gonna use the Morphe 350M palette, and I am going to start with this color right here, and then I will be using this one, and then I will be using this red shade right here. And I'm applying this right under the yellow shade with a MAC 221 brush. And don't mind the eyeshadow getting on your eyelid. You're going to remove it using some concealer once you're going to cut the crease. Taking that brighter orange shade. And I'm blending this orange shade right into my crease. So I'm not taking it all the way up. Taking that E40 brush again and blending these colors together. And I'm going to do the same with the red shade. And as you can tell, I am raising my eyebrows so that my eyelids are a bit more straight and I can really get into my crease. And I'm taking a little bit of that first bright yellow shade again and applying this into my upper crease. Then it's time to move on to the brown shades and a bit more dark. So I'm first going in with this shade right here and then I will be using this color. So one, two, and I'm still using the MAC 221 and I'm mainly gonna focus on the lower crease. So when you cut the crease, you have like this nice darkness up here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. And then I am taking a small amount of that 
darker brow just a little bit and applying that here. You can see that adds like darkness. Now I'm going to switch brushes to this tiny baby right here. This is the Sigma Shader Crease Brush E47. And I am picking up a little bit of that very dark shade and applying it into my lower crease because I kind of want to have a line, but not too straight because I still want the colors to, you know, have a nice transition and we all blend it together. I need to stop saying blend it together. We know. Going back in with the E40 and blend. And normally I use the Max Select cover up to cut my crease, but I don't have it here, so we're just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm using the MAC 210 brush, which is a eyeliner brush, but very, very thin. Uh, maybe you can see it better now. Do you see that there is a, a line up here? And normally I would cut my crease up here, but we're not going to do it. I'm going a little bit more high. So it's like even with the right eye. What I also like to do is pull up my eyebrows just to make it, you know, as straight as possible or just go like this. But if you can do that, just go like that. Just gonna look straight into the mirror, uh, not raising my eyebrows and see how it looks and where I need to, you know, make some changes. Um, I think we're there and I'm just gonna blend out the concealer onto the eyelid. And I'm not gonna, you know, look up because otherwise this concealer will be into my crease and I don't want that, so. Just gonna pat it on with my hands. Okay, so now that we have this, I am not going to set it, but I'm going straight in with eyeshadow. And I am going to use this shade right here, which is a soft orange shimmery shade. And this is also from the Morphe 35O palette, but then the shimmer one. And I'm spraying some Fix Plus onto my brush. And Patting on this color. This is the MAC 242 brush, by the way. And again, I am raising my eyebrows because when you get to the cut it crease area, um, you need to be careful because you do not want the shimmer to be into your crease, just on the eyelid. And now that the eyeshadow on the eyelid is on, it's time to do some liner. And I'm going to use this Roller Wheel Eyeliner by MAC. Um, to be honest, it is not one of the most easiest eyeliners to work with. I do like the color, but if you know a good eyeliner that is liquid and like with a normal brush in this color, please let me know in the comments down below. Not the best eyeliner I have done, so I'm gonna clean it with a Q-tip and some eye makeup remover. And don't worry if this part is not as straight as you want it to be, because I am going to use a different liner underneath it, like a very light blue liner. Okay, so the blue eyeliner is on, and then I'm going to use this NYX Glitter Glam Liner Waterproof in Blue. And I'm just gonna make a line underneath the neck liner. And then I am taking a Q-tip and just a brushing because I don't want it to be like a very straight line. I want it to be a little bit more faded. Now that this part of the eye is done, I'm quickly going to apply some lashes and these are called Kylie by Primark.
Okay, now I'm quickly going to do the rest of my face off camera and then we are going to do the rest of the eyes. And I am going to use this color right here and then that color and I'm going to use the MAC 221 brush to do so. And then for my waterline, I'm going to use this NYX pencil. This is called Sunrise Blue Slide On Glide On Stay On Waterproof Something. And of course, some mascara. All right, guys, and then we are done with the tutorial. I hope this was helpful. I am very happy on the way my makeup turns out and I'm very glad I found a method that works for me when it comes to a cut crease. A very big tip I can give you is please, first thing you have to do is look at your own eyes. Look at an area where you can create a crease and not typically in the crease because I actually didn't cut my crease. I just made a line somewhere on my eyes, you know, and that's what's going to give me like that straight cut it crease look and yeah that's what I will keep on doing and of course what I said it's not perfect I still gotta practice but for now I'm pretty happy and yeah that's what I wanted to share with you I want to thank you for watching and if you have questions or tips and tricks when it comes to cut creases drop them down below thank you again for watching and I will talk to you soon